Hello again. We're just covering some of the saddles we have here at the ranch. Um, we have to my right, this is a typical Western Chato saddle. Uh, Mexican rodeo, Mexican cowboys have used this style saddle for no kidding centuries. It's, it's formed by a, a heavy wooden tree, a large horn, and you can see this ring is where you're, you're dallying your rope and it's burning through the actual wood when you're trying to, to, to um, pull down a steer. And then the bit is also different. As you can see, this is a typical charro um, Bri bridle, bridle set. Uh, this is the actual bit and the bridle. Um, charro bridles are usually more harsh than Tennessee walking horse bridles. And here it's just, it goes into one hand because it's easier for charros to be able to do different things like my dad mentioned with the rope. Now we have a... This is your typical Western U.S. style saddle. <clears throat> Western or in Spanish you would call this a Tejano. <clears throat> just as typical in any, any place in the Western United States, a Western riding, Western pleasure, uh, saddle horn, and this is a... This is the bit we use on Rosita. It's a, a much softer bit in order to maintain control of the horse, but yet not so be so harsh. And as you can see, in comparison to the um, the other saddle, the Charro saddle, the horn is different. And then this is my saddle. It's the same as the other saddle that we just talked about, but this one is much more lightweight just because I wanted to be able to carry it. Lightweight and sufficiently padded to make a really nice, soft, smooth ride. Yes. And the bit is the same as the one we just mentioned. This is a, we do have English saddles here at the ranch as well, but this is a dressage style saddle. As we described before, this does not have a horn, so it's not a working saddle for cattle, etc. Yeah, I hope you guys learn a little bit more about different types of saddles. Today we're talking about trailers. We have four trailers on site that we're going to discuss. We're going to start with this two horse trailer that we have. We'll let Jake start from here. So this is a Brenda Rupp trailer. I don't know if I pronounced it right. It has two storage compartments in, in the front. And the other side they have two for saddles. It's for your ropes and other stuff. Uh -huh. Over here you can check on your horses, feed them from here. It's very dirty because we just took it on a trail ride, so. We're gonna take you around to the back now. Jake, let's go ahead and so The Brenda Up two horse trailer is made, is made in Europe. And they have a lot of inclement weather, rain, snow, cold. And so this is a fully enclosed module. Now, we're gonna demonstrate here that you can open this as you're going down the highway and you leave this open. And this allows for the horse to have more, horses to have more air via the uh, front windows. Now we're going to open it. And the interesting thing about these bender ups, they're made of almost 100% of fiberglass. Correct, so they're very light, so you can pull this behind us, so they have a small car. So this stays in place, and this becomes the ramp for your horse. So when my horse comes over to the, from the side, what this allows you to do, Right up. This is an example of loading a Tennessee Walker into the Brenda up two horse trailer. Jake is already in front, so I'm going to hand Jake the, the lead and he steps out the side. So we bring her up, she walks right up. Go off the side. And then goes out the side. And done. And then you tie it right here. And so this, this. So it also offers an opportunity for a front windshield so the horse can see where it's going. The next example here on the ranch, as we said before, we're involved in all types of riding, not only with Tizzy Walkers, but also with quarter horse and ranch work and in chadiados or rodeos. This is an example of a four play stock trailer that is used for cows, bulls, and horses. 
and this one was, was manipulated in order to have a top on it. So it's a very heavy, all-purpose trailer. Okay, so this trailer has two ways to open it. For just one man can go in, which you open it here, pull this out. And it's, it, you have to be a little bit strong. because it's not that tall. So Rosita cannot go in here comfortably. This is another trailer that we have in our ranch. This is called a gooseneck 3 plus trailer. It's a gooseneck because as you can see the form of the trailer is from a hinge onto the truck. And it's a 3 plus trailer because there can be three or more horses. So okay. if you come over here, we'll show you the interior. Three. This is the inside, and Jay, can you explain? So there's three mounts for saddles. You can put three saddles comfortably in here. You can always put them here, or on the bottom, up here. Here's a lot of hooks for your bridles and other stuff. And like coats or whatever you yeah. want. Right it here, this is a stepping stool to get to your stuff up here. So you just step right here, and then you can access everything up here. And as you can see, it's a really spacious inside part of the trailer. So you can plenty of boxes or extra sounds if you would like. And there's a vent up here, so in case it's really hot, you can help it. So now let's go back to the back side of the trailer. This trailer is almost brand new, made by Wayne Hodges from Texas. We just received it at the ranch uh, this month. Has access, it's extremely light. And easy to open, not like the other one. It also has a permanent flooring that you do not have to use shavings or hay or or bedding for a horse to travel. And you can wash it out. Don't. So, it also has these dividers that are permanently attached, and you can open like this. Your horse just walks in, and then you can close it again. We call it a three plus because you have one, two, and then. Here there's plenty of space for more than one. You have probably two horses here in, the, in this section. Above is, this is some fiberglass or um, translucent fiberglass to keep the rain out. I think there are also removable. We have some other opportunities for that and also for the air to come in as well. These are on the bottom, also on the top. So there's actually another fiberglass is another part of the trailer. This is another type of trailer that we have. Same as the other white one. It's a gooseneck trailer. Although this one is a seven plus horse trailer. This horse trailer, we use it to transport almost all our mares and geldings to another part of the ranch so they can be on our prairie. In, on this side, it's a little bit less spacious than the other one over there. This one has, this one has it so you can push this piece of metal here all the way back so you can fit more horses in. Here is just a little, little bit more longer space. The, the other one fits bigger boxes because it's a lot taller. So it's the same principle as the other one. So now let's, let me take you guys to the back of the horse trailer and show you. Okay, so this is the back of the trailer. And the same way you open it, you take off this latch and pull. And as you can see, this is a very spacious trailer because it's supposed to fit seven or more horses. So this is the same thing. It works as a divider that you can latch onto, or you can also open it. Or you can take them off, so these come off fairly easily, you just pick them up like this, and take them up. Up here, this is for like force the kicks, you can close them in here, and they cannot kick anybody, or for a stallion. These, I said, like I said, are also removable, so you do not have to worry about horses not fitting in because of the space. And right here, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six latches, so you can tie your horse up here. We like to tie them up on the outside just in case there's a problem or road problems. You can take the horses out easily. 